Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my morning skincare routine for sensitive skin. I have super sensitive skin and this is what my um, biggest issue is, which is hyperpigmentation and then acne scars. So I like to start off with my Nizoral anti-dandruff shampoo that I put on my face on blemishes because it looks like I had one overnight, which I do sometimes get those stress pimples. So I leave it on for five minutes and then I just take a cotton round with um, the Meissler water um, with rose water in it and I just gently wipe it off. Any Meissler water should work. Okay, and next I'm going in with the Biore Charcoal Cleanser with Apple Cider Vinegar. Apple Cider Vinegar is a quick hack that can help just clear up your skin. It always makes my skin look a lot brighter, and um, I can always notice when I'm not using it. And make sure you're washing your face for a minute at least. So I like to go in with the Apple Cider Vinegar and my cleanser first, and then later I'll go in with just the cleanser to get all that vinegar smell off. Okay, so like I said, I'm going back in with just the Biore cleanser to get all that apple cider vinegar off and make sure my skin is super soft and clean. If you are washing your face and afterwards your skin feels tight or it feels dry, that means that the cleanser you're using, you're using is stripping your skin. So make sure you're not using a cleanser that's gonna strip your skin. Usually after I do my double cleansing, I'm still feeling moisturized. My skin isn't too dry or anything like that. Okay, so this is what my skin is looking like after washing it. It's super bright and it's definitely looking more plump and lively. Okay, next I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Fat Water. I actually really love this because it's really good for your pores. It's a good toner and it has niacinamide, which is really good for hyperpigmentation and pimples, which like I said, are my issues. So um, yeah, that really works out for me and it feels really good. Make sure you pat it on. Okay, so next I'm going in with my alpha hydroxy acid. I prefer the mandelic acid because it's very good for people with sensitive skin. It's actually made from almonds, and I have a review on my experience with it as well. Um, I'll link it above. So I just take a couple drops, not too many, and I lightly rub my face. You probably can't tell how lightly I'm rubbing my face, but I lightly rub my face and kind of pat in the solution instead of rubbing my face too hard to make it irritable. And then I'm actually going in with a product from a black owned brand. It's called Hyper Clear. It's supposed to help um, as like a vitamin C and just to brighten up your skin and get rid of that hyperpigmentation. I think it did pretty well overall um, in trying to get my skin brighter and just fade those acne spots. So after I've done my wash, my tone, and treatment, now I am going to moisturize to make sure my skin feels super hydrated throughout the day. And I always love to use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Um, you guys know I love this. Um, so I use it for the extra dry skin and I just put 
a generous amount on my face and rub it in. Make sure you're giving your face enough time to dry between each product you put on it, just to make sure your skin is really absorbing it. So I rub it in and then I'm feeling moisturized. And then finally after that, I go in with my Fenty Beauty Lip Balm. I love this lip balm. It keeps your lips feeling so soft and it smells so good. I got the one that smells like vanilla. And then last but not least, you always want to make sure you're using SPF no matter what time of year. I don't care. I don't want to hear no excuses. You always have to use SPF. So I use the Neutrogena SPF and it's within the Hydro Boost family. So if I'm running to the gym and just need to splash some water on my face, I can throw this on as my moisturizer. So my skin is all finished, all treated. I'm just doing some quick face massages just to keep my blood flowing and keep my face lifted. And we are all done. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe below and um, let me know if you like these kind of videos and I will continue to make them. Have a good day. Bye.